Hey guys, it's James. Showing you here today the <clears throat> the Optimus Terra. It's the weekend HE with the heat exchange base on it. The cook set. Um, it comes in this uh, mesh style stuff sack. Holds everything together pretty nice. Let's take a look inside. There's the stove. It's got a lid slash uh, frying pan. You can use it to fry an egg or something small like a spam sandwich, something like that. Really lightweight. And here I've got some aluminum foil for a windshield and some stormproof matches. And here I've got. Let's go over this. This is the pan or the actual cup. Holds 800 milliliters, 24 ounces. It's got handles that fold open with the grip on it so it keeps your hands from getting burned. This one, this particular one is the HE version. It has the uh, heat exchange element on the bottom to help distribute the heat better this comes with the crux stove on this edition and it comes in a nice little neoprene holder that you can store the stove right underneath the propane canister and then here is the stove and I keep a big lighter, a small big lighter in there. And that's the pouch it comes in. And then just a propane canister. The stove is really light. I'll have to get you some weights on that. Um, I'll do that here soon. But everything folds nice and neat. It's got a quick disconnect right here. Pull it and it pops up, snaps in place. The feet fold out. Real nice. Nice and solid, not sloppy. Hold it. And then you have your gas adjustment right here. Always make sure it's all the way off before I put it on. We're going to go up to the 24 ounce mark. We'll just room temperature water. I don't know if you can see that. No, you can't see the marking. Lighting's bad in the garage. Sorry, I didn't want to do this in the house just in case. We're going to go full blast on this. See how long it takes. Let's see if I can show you a sneak peek of what looks like it's underneath there. See the heat wrapped evenly around the bowl. Guys, we already have a boil. Actually, a pretty bad boil. Well, there you go, guys. That's a rolling boil at 1 minute 33 seconds. I mean, she was boiling pretty damn good. Jesus, I thought 2 or 3 minutes. I mean, 
and there it is, scalding hot water, rolling boil. A minute, 33 seconds. I know we're in perfect conditions. No heat outside, no, or no heat. No heat to be lost with the outside wind. We're going to try this one more time. I mean, it was boiling so hard. Look, guys. I got water everywhere. And that wasn't for me splashing my hands. That was jumping out of the pot boiling that hard. This is the first time I've lit it and tried it. But this is actually the first time I've actually burned anything with it. Well, here you go, guys. It's cool to the touch now. A couple seconds later. We're going to fill this back up and we're going to do it again. Be right back. Ran out of water. Alright guys, I'm back. I'm going to fill the rest of the way up again. Same as what we had last time. And again, this is just tap water. Cool, it's probably 60 degree water. I need to get a thermometer. But anyways, you get the idea. It'll be warmer if it's in your pack all day, or it could be hotter if it's... There we go, guys. We're going to do it again. It's been on there for a couple seconds, so we'll give it a couple seconds. I'll show you that it is full. I'm going to stay on top of this this time, guys. It's already starting to bubble down at the bottom. Not a lot, just you can see the little ripples at the bottom of the pan. And it's all the way max. down. Here it comes, it's starting to roll. This water might have been a little colder. I don't know if you can see that steam coming off there. Guys, we got a boil. This water was a little colder right out of the tap. The other water was sitting in the mug for a little bit, so it was more room temperature. But there you go, that's a rolling boil. There you have it, guys. The handles are cool to the touch, not hot at all. I won't be an idiot and touch this. Surprise! Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's hot. Surprisingly, it's not as hot though as I thought it was. Being this, as the Crux stove, I've got the 8.11 ounce propane fuel isobutane slash fuel mix propane fuel mix. There you go, guys. I'm happy with my purchase. If you're looking in the market for a stove, I can highly recommend this one. Well, thanks for watching. See you next time.